Oh my golly. It's been nearly 50 years since humans last walked on the moon. The crew of Apollo 17 left their footprints in December 1972. Three, two, one, ignition. Right away, Houston. Today, another rocket named after another Greek god, Artemis, NASA's most powerful rocket yet, is poised for liftoff in Florida, an uncrewed test flight that will send the Orion crew capsule to orbit the moon for 42 days before returning to Earth, splashing down in the Pacific Ocean off San Diego. If all goes well, astronauts could be on a similar orbital test flight within two years. And this morning, NASA says all systems are go for a Monday morning launch. This is something that has not been done in over 50 years and is incredibly difficult. We are ready to go. We've identified our teams. We're packed. We're ready. We're excited. The ultimate goal, a lunar landing as soon as 2025, including the first woman and person of color. I can bounce gently in this space. At NASA's pool in Houston, astronauts are already training for future moonwalks. Sand and rocks on the bottom of the pool to recreate the conditions on the lunar surface with one-sixth the gravity of Earth. They've got to try to replicate what it's like on the south pole of the moon, where the sun is very low right in your eyesight, but everywhere else, it's pitch black. On the moon's south pole, ice could provide the water NASA needs for a future moon base. We want to stay on the lunar surface and learn on the lunar surface so that we uh, can do, get the most science and know how we're going to go to Mars. There's also a national security imperative here because, you know, 50 years ago, we were in a space, way th space race with the Russians. And obviously, we won that race. Uh, the Soviet Union at the time and now Russia today, really not a player beyond low Earth orbit. But China is because they have a stated goal of putting humans on the moon in 2030, a moon base. So in the view of many, this is also, as we said, uh, of strategic importance to the country. Special thanks to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Center for letting us come here to do the story this morning. Uh, Willie, back to you. We will be watching tomorrow morning. We can't wait to see it. Tom Costello, thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.